things are the way they are. This crystal is something specific with specific properties. But when we look at it, we all see it just a little differently. See, all day long, we are constantly taking in all kinds of sensory information and our brain filters it all out and tries to only send us the important stuff, the stuff that we will find valuable based on our past experiences and our physiology. That filtered information is what you wind up paying attention to. And that's called your conscious perception. I see clowns like this. Maybe you see clowns like this. Clowns see themselves like this, but I mean, come on clowns. You know what's up, you creeps. The thing is, we're all looking at the same clown. Your perception is really only ever in here. You can't really prove it to anyone. You can never tell if you're really seeing something exactly as it is or as other people see it. That is so frustrating, but maybe that can change. A team of neuroscientists from the Neurocognitive Psychology Lab at Carl von Osiecki University think that they have taken the first step in reading someone's perception, turning it into data, and then comparing it to the perception of others in real time. How? With this. You probably got obsessed with drawing these when you were a kid. It's actually got a name. It's called a tesseract. No, it's called a Necker cube. So is this the front corner or is this the front corner? For most people, it's this one, but you can change your perception of it at will. Now this sort of image is called a bistable visual preset. And the team placed subjects in an fMRI and then showed them a similar image. But a moving one and track the changes in people's perceptions of the image in real time. The team created an algorithm, a 94% accurate algorithm that can tell how a subject is perceiving the image at any given moment, even if they've never looked at that subject's brain activity before. For maybe the first time, someone can really know how someone else is perceiving reality at any given moment in an incredibly small way. And with a 10 second delay due to the nature of the MRI equipment. But forget about that. Let's think about the future, people. The future, when we can get rid of those little ambiguities that get in our way. Maybe help people understand how their perceptions could be changed to be healthier or more positive for them. I wanna hear what you guys think about this. So let me know. Oh, a few things before I go. Number one, thank you. Uh, I have never created anything really on my own channel for myself. I've always made other things for other people. So thank you for watching this. And if you like it, please share it with your friends. Number two, I was on Best Game Show Ever talking about the Power Glove. That was a lot of fun, so go check that out. Number three, if you are going to be at VidCon, YouTube's time of the reaping, uh, I'm gonna be at VidCon too. So if you see me, come up and say hi. I'm scared to death of VidCon, and that is the truth.